Greetings fellow detectives, Wizard Kitten here, bringing you the 10th video in our walkthrough for Nancy Drew, the Phantom of Venice. Let's see if we can reach Sophia. If not, I have an idea. Yeah, so it's still busy. So I think what we need to do first is we need to open that Chinese puzzle box that Colin left for us. Let's maybe not look like Sophia right now. Let's take off the wig. Um, can maybe keep wearing the sunglasses though. The rest of the outfit we can take. We just don't need a wig. All right, let's go out looking more like a normal person because in order to open up the Chinese puzzle box, we are going to need a book that will help us um, translate Chinese symbols, which I do not know off the top of my head. Uh, we need to go to Piazza San Marco, where the book stand is. Let's take a couple little boat rides and then a nice little walk to the piazza. Piazza. Piazza San Marco. Okay, over here. Let's see, we need an introduction to Chinese symbols, which is a random book at a bookstore in Italy. I wanna see if there's anything else we can get that we could get, oh, we could get this German dictionary if we could ever look at um, Helena's stuff again. That would be good. And what's this? Eurovelt. This is the um, thing that Helena writes for. What does it have in it? Let's uh, translate this with our new journal here. The Trial of Leo Macchiano by Helena Berg. The prosecution spent the first two weeks of what will undoubtedly prove to be one of the most important trials of the 21st century, establishing the foundation for its case against Venetian crime boss Leo Macchiano. Finally, in week three, it was time to call witnesses. One by one, Macchiano's alleged henchmen entered the box, and piece by piece, his empire fell apart, buckling under the weight of the testimony which his former minions, now witnesses for the state, unhappily surrendered. Luigi Lacino went first. He soon revealed that all the major players in Macchiano's organization had code names based on the names of Roman emperors. Lacino's code name was Nero. Macchiano's code name was, not surprisingly, Hadrian, one of Roman Empire's most productive rulers. Had Hadrian run a corporation in Instead of a crime ring, Nero would have been his director of communications, the man in charge of distributing informa information within the organization. At first, Lachino appeared to be an expert at discerning who in the organization needed to know what and when they needed to know it. But as his testimony progressed and he was relentlessly bombarded with proof of his ties to Macchiano, it became clear that Lachino was merely following orders and that only Macchiano truly understood what had to be done when and by whom. Next to the stand came Pietro Bonetti, known to those in Macchiano's organization as Tiberius, the equivalent of its director of research. Macchiano would, through Lacino, tell Bonetti that he wanted to, what he wanted to steal, and Bonetti would then devise a way to steal it. On the hard drives of the three computers that were recovered from his flat, authorities found the schematics for hundreds of security systems. Enhanced by covert surveillance, information obtained through bribery and old-fashioned deduction, these schematics allowed Bonetti, a computer hacker since the age of nine, to analyze systems. He was responsible for finding, hiring, and overseeing the people who perpetrated the actual heist, making sure they were trained and equipped to deal deal with the obstacles his research told him to expect. So skilled were Bonetti and the persons in his employ that in two instances, more than 72 hours passed before anyone realized a theft had occurred. Interesting. All of these um, people are sounding very similar to the things that are going on in um, the present day here. It's interesting that Helena wrote that article. She must know um, quite a bit about it. We should maybe ask her about it. Um, what did we just buy? Oh yeah, book for Chinese symbols. Okay, time to go back to the car. <clears throat> Take a little boat ride with Luigi. The other ones will sing for you if you are willing to pay for it, but um, in the interest of expediency, I'd rather not pay for it because then we have to spend time making money, which does not have much to do with the actual plot of the game. Okay, let's see here. So if we look at this um, puzzle box, we have like fire, mountain, uh, water, and like trees. If we look at the book of symbols here, 
we can look at um, the different symbols for all of these. So like mountain is uh, this one. Let's see, fire. Fire is this symbol here. Tree, tree, ooh, tree. That's really complicated though. Um, I feel like it's not that. And then uh, uh, water. Water is this one. Because the symbols on the box are not overly complicated. So where's the one that we could be tree? Tree. Oh, maybe wood? That could be it. All right. Um, and then you just have to click them in order. And the way you find out the order is by these numbers here. So like mountain looks like it would be number number two, because it has that sl sloping part there. Um, and if you go back and look at them, each one of the sides has the numbers written on them. So tree is the first one, and then mountain is the second one, the third one is fire, and the fourth one is the water symbol. So shake the box to get the compartment to open up. So first we need um, wood, second we need mountain, third we need fire, and fourth water. Ooh. Check the daily communication point throughout the city for your next assignment or important messages. Il Capitano will leave you playing cards to indicate the location of the next hit. Be sure to keep this key in a safe place. Do not lose it. Leave town, St. Gervas, Ca Sabistiano, Palazzo Ruggiero, Palazzo Barbaro, Ca Verano, Sprovac, Ca Nascosta. Oh, and this is what was left here. Palazzo Folio, La Fenice, Palazzo Orpello, and Doge's Palace. Interesting. Okay, now I bet we can talk to Sophia because now we have some really interesting information to share. Oh my goodness. Okay, one more thing we have to do. Sophia, I just want to talk. Okay, if we go across the street to Fango, Fango's office at Campo dei Frari, dei Frari. And into the Argon building. Let's break in yet again. got distracted thinking about what we were going to do inside his office, so I wasn't saying anything. Um, got the key there, though. Got his lock. So, if we look um, in the boxes here. Now the Ray de Denari is missing. The Ray According de Denari. According to the list I found in that puzzle box, the Ray de Denari is code for the Palazzo Orpello. I'll bet that's the next place they're going to hit. The Palazzo Orpello. I bet you're right, Nancy. Palazzo Orpello. Now we also got some interesting information from Margarita. She showed us this um, ad that she said she found in the car and it says uh, get rid of unsightly cables and bring your business into the 21st century with digital connectivity. A state-of-the-art wireless phone and computer network will result in happier customers and more productive employees. Antonio Fongo has his phone number but on the back here was this weird code 111 number 046. So if we uh, go over to his fax machine here and we go put in that code, 111 number 046. It prints off um, this piece of paper, which you can line up with the numbers on uh, his number pad here. The thing that makes music is the carousel horse that is way over here. 
on his shelf. Over here. The carousel horse that is also from um, the Haunted Carousel, the eighth mystery in the series. If you wind it up, you will get a series of notes that you need to write down. Mi, re, do, si, la, re. So these all need to be written down. And it's a pretty long song. Okay, so when you have all of that written down, you can go over to Fongo's fax machine, hold up the key, and type in the song. Okay, so mi, re, do, mi, re, do, si, la, re, re, si, la, re, re, do, la, fi, sol, do, la, fi, sol, do, mi, do, 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 mi, do, do, sol, sol, mi, fa, sol, sol, mi, fa, re, 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 la, re, 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 la, and then si, re, do, si, Re, do. Welcome to the automated directory for Sonia Trico. Ooh. For personnel, press 1. For store locations, press 2. For communications, press 3. At any time, you may press 0 to return personnel. to the previous map. For Signore de Torre President, press 1. Sure. For Signore Capitano Communications, press 2. For Signore Arlecchino Shipping and Receiving, press 3. For Signore Scaramuccia Security, press yes. 4. For Signore Brigella Acquisitions, press 5. Um, Capitano. Signore Dottori is the president of Sony Trico and is currently not receiving any messages. I do not understand that entry. For Signore Dottori, president, press 1. Who's for Signore, Signore Capitano? Capitano. Signore Capitano is responsible for receiving and distributing all incoming and outgoing communications. I do not understand that entry. <laughs> for Signore Dottori, president, pr Signore mm. Alecchino keeps our goods and services safe and secure. Huh. I do not understand that entry. For Signore Dottori, President, Signore Scaramuccia is responsible for providing information on security systems. I do not understand that entry. For Signore Dottori, President, press 1. Signore Bergella acquires goods for resale. Which is probably the Phantom. I do not understand that entry. For Signore Dottori, President, press 1. For Signore Capitano go Communications, press 2. I do not understand that entry. For Signore Dottori, I do not understand that entry. For go Signore back. Dottori, welcome to the automated there we go. directory for Sony Trico. Uh, store locations? For, for our headquarters, press 1. For our, our headquarters are located in the Argonne office building in the Capo di Frari. Oh, we're in the headquarters. For our headquarters, press 1. For our, our safe and secure store is located near the fountain in the Campo Santa Maria Formosa. I bet that's a safe room where they're keeping the stolen goods. For our headquarters, press 1. Our acquisition partners are the Aces, the Knights, and the Kings. For further information, please consult our detailed list available from our Director of Communications or Acquisitions. Mm. For our headquarters, press 1. For our safe, our sumptuous presidential suites are located in the historic Canas Costa. So that means the for president stays at the Canas Costa. For our safe, our propane storage facilities can be found in the Campo Santa Margarita. Propane storage facility? For our headquarters, press 1. For our we have many temporary meeting spaces available. Please consult your complimentary company calendar for locations available by day. For our headquarters, press 1. Interesting. Welcome to the automated directory for Sonitrico. For presidential communications, press All presidential communications should be delivered with a box of chocolates to delight the Dottori. For presidential communications, press 1. Acquisitions meet daily at the temporary meeting spaces. A card indicating our acquisition partner for that day will be delivered there. For presidential communications, all security communications are initiated with a lovely game of chess. Scaramuccia will determine the location of any follow-up communications. For presidential communications, press 1. Acquisitions will deliver all goods to our propane storage facility. 
Our director of shipping and receiving will then distribute to our safe and secure store for eventual distribution to our home office. For presidential communication, welcome to Very the interesting. So we just basically got a rundown of the whole crime ring that's going on right now. We have a lot to tell Sophia if she actually wants to talk to us this time. I feel like we have so much information now she can't not talk to us. So let's go to our room and be all sneaky. Although now we know that whoever is Ildo Torre has been at the Ka. Or maybe still currently is at the Ka. It's hard to say. Maybe we'll stand outside on the balcony and make our secret calls. Look at the pretty water while we make a call to Sophia. Nancy, what has happened? Long story short, I think I know where the Phantom is going to strike next. Where? Tell me. I'm pretty sure he's going to steal something from the Palazzo Orpello. You are pretty sure? I'm really sure, as in almost positive. And I know his name is Nico. That's what Tatsa called him anyway. Nico Petit. He's a thief we are very familiar with. He's not very smart, which is why we did not think he could be the Phantom. But if he is taking orders from someone, that is different. Here is the plan. I will call the GDIS and have them send us some agents to stake out the Palazzo Orpello. You must be there too. I must? I mean, okay, sure. But first, you need to do two things. You must give everyone at the Carnos Costa the object, which will allow us to track them. Already did that. Although I think Colin may have left town with his. We will worry about Colin later. Second, you must brush off on your Italian, so that during the stakeout you can understand what the agents are saying over the radio. I can do that. Good. When you feel you are ready, call me, and we will move forward. You got it. Ciao. All right, the way to brush up on your Italian... I mean, we have this book in our room here, this Italian guide, Interactive Guide to Venice, um, Common Italian Terms and Phrases. So the colors are important. Rosso, bianco, nero, giallo, blu, verde. Um, a lot of them sound similar to Spanish, which is the language that I know, which makes it a little bit easier. Um, cane, gato, topo is mouse, fiori, flowers, um, Parete is wall, which again is similar to Spanish. In Spanish, it's pared. Um, porta, and it's like a port. A banco sounds like a bench. Tralicio is an arch. Statua sounds like statue. Albero, um, tree. Fontana sounds like fountain. And then these are important. So soto is under, sopra above, alla destra di is to the alla right. Destra di. And alla sinistra, di alla sinistra di is to the left. Dietro is behind, nella inside, vicino is close to, and lontano is far away. So let's give it a shot. Let's just do our best with these. Um, see. They will tell us where the people are, and we will try to help them find Nico. Hello, Nancy. All the tracking devices have been planted, and you have brushed up on your Italian. See. Si. Good. The stakeout will take place at midnight tonight. You and the GBIF agents will allow Nico to enter the Palazzo Opello, then capture him when he tries to get away with whatever he has stolen. And so, I ask you, Nancy, are you sure you are ready to go on the stakeout? I am ready. Then good luck. We will talk again after Nico is captured. Let's get him. Nancy, the four of us agents will be hiding in the courtyard waiting for Nico. We will call over the radio to tell you where we are and pick out from time to time. If you see Nico, let us know where he is and we we'll try to catch him. But don't give away our hiding places. Okay. To the left of the white flowers. Behind the fountain. Then they show us where they are. Behind the tree. Behind the automobile, the car. Okay, so if someone peeks out that isn't in those locations, then we know it's Nico. Behind the blue umbrella. Right of the red flowers. Behind the fountain. Behind the statue. Oh, he's next to the gondolas. Get him. 
È andato. He's gone. Behind the red umbrella. Close to the gondolas. To the right of the red flowers. Behind the tree. So, any of those places. That's one of them. That's one of them. Didn't see him anywhere. Okay, behind the fountain. Behind the tree. Behind the wall. And behind the red umbrella. That's the wall, I think. Behind the fountain. Behind the red umbrella. That was him. I didn't see him. Red flowers. Behind the cat. Behind the statue. Behind the blue umbrella. So all in this area. That's them. Oh, there he He's is. to the left of the white flowers. Get him. Not there anymore. Okay, to the right of the red flowers. Behind the wall. Behind the tree. Okay, red flowers, wall, tree, fountain. Wall, tree. Flowers. Okay, behind the wall. Behind the red umbrella. The cat. Behind the tree. Oh, blue umbrella. Blue umbrella. He's behind the blue umbrella. Okay, red flowers. Tree. The gondolas. Umbrella blue. So he's in. They're all in this area. That's them. Oh, statue. Behind the statue. 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 Umbrella. Tree. Cat. Left of white flowers. Okay, someone's behind the tree. Oh, this one. He's to the right of the red flowers. We got him! Phantom arrested! Got him. Nico hasn't admitted anything? He does not admit that he is the Phantom. He does not even admit that he is Nico Petit. The police and the GDIS have been questioning him all night but have gotten nowhere. So we still don't know who Il Dottore is. And we do not know where any of the stolen artwork is. This is not good, Nancy. Now that Nico has been arrested, the theft ring may break up, and we may never recover the stolen goods. Prudence is not going to like that. Was he carrying anything that might help us? A wallet, an address book? I'm looking at the arrest report. Among the items that were taken from him were a silver trumpet that he had just stolen from the Palazzo Apello, a pen, some coins, some matches, a receipt for Popano, I should say propane gas, a used tissue. Wait a minute. Propane gas? This receipt, what was on it? I will check the photocopy. It is just an ordinary receipt. It tells the date the gas was delivered, the amount. Hmm. That is strange. What's strange? On the back, someone has written these numbers. 3447. 3447. Does that mean something? Only one way to find out. I'll talk to you later. Bye. All right, and we will have to follow up on that in the next episode. But for now, we've caught the Phantom, so good progress. Thanks for watching, fellow detectives. I will see you soon.